So in this video, what I want to do is do some uh, in memory parameter exercises. And actually, I'm going to do two things. In the first section, I want to convert from ASMM to AMM. And in the second section, I just want to look at some PGA parameters. So the first thing I want to do is convert from ASMM to AMM. ASMM means Automatic Shared Memory Management, and AMM stands for Automatic Memory Management. So I'm going to log into my database. First thing I want you to see is um, let's do a show show parameter um, memory. And notice that AMM is actually turned off here because we don't have these parameters turned on. So memory max target or memory max memory target is actually turned off. So we must have ASMM or something else. But um, we might have um, uh, might be doing something manually. So let's see if ASMM is actually turned on. So show So it looks like um, we have ASMM turned on because we have the SGA parameters turned on and the PGA target aggregate target turned on. So we want to convert from here to here, actually. So um, what's the best way to do that? Um, first thing is uh, let's find um, some parameters that we need to figure out what this number needs to be. So what the memory target needs to be. And the way to do that is let's just show parameter target. And we have the uh, um, SGA target and the PGA target is this. And usually we combine these two, but we also want to look at this. So um, we want to add this number, the SGA target, to the, the maximum of this number, the PGA aggregate target, or this number, which is the maximum PGA allocated. In this case, the PGA aggregate target is the larger number, so we want to combine these two. Okay, so we're going to get um, 1621 megs uh, approximately. So let's do that. Um, but the best thing to do first is to create a P file. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do the Oracle base admin sim P file. Let's go ahead and create a P file right here, actually. Um, create. Let's see if there is an, an SP file. So an SP file, so let's go ahead and create the P file from it. So let's go create P file, which is equal to, and it's always good to specify the absolute um, file address here. So let's go um, it, Actually, we'll go ahead and create what today's date is, which in this case is 2016. So good. So we've created that. Now, um, so now let's do make our changes, which we're going to now change the alter system set memory target is equal to 1621.1 megs. Now I'm going to say scope. Scope is equal to SP file. And, and I want to turn everything else off. So alter system set SGA. Zero. Scope is equal to SP file. Alter system set PGA aggregate target is equal to 
restart the database. Let's just shut down. Let's start. So in this case, it looks like it's going to start without any problems, but it's always good to create a P file. So now let's do show parameter memory. And now we have set our memory max target. So now we're in the AMM. And that's all I wanted to show for this particular section. So in this particular section, what I want to talk about is the PGA aggregate target. I think there's some questions on the OCM exam about the PGA aggregate target. So uh, I can't think of what they want us to do other than change the value, but I just wanted to just uh, make sure that I understand um, certain things about the PGA aggregate target. So let's just do some queries here. All right, the first thing is that we let's show parameter. Okay, so there is a parameter that governs the PGA aggregate target, and it is this. This is not part of AMM, if that's what we're doing, but we can set a minimum value for the PGA aggregate target by, by doing this. Um, th there's another parameter that is uh, important for the PGA, and uh, oh, let's show that. Show. So um, the work area size policy is either auto or manual, but I can never imagine we would do anything manual. Uh, otherwise, then we'd have to have to adjust the sort area sizes and all those sizes parameters. So it's best for this to be kept as auto, and I can't imagine for the exam they would make us do anything but turn it on to be auto. But if they ask us to adjust anything about the PGA aggregate target, we need to make sure the work area policy is set to auto. There's two other um, important um, V dollar param uh, V dollar views I want to look at um, in case we need to for for the exam. And one's the the PGA target advice. So let's look at this particular query. Select round PGA for spelled it correctly so that's great so notice now um, in this particular case um, since I've just started the database um, I'm not surprised that we're getting a hundred percent cash hit uh, on pr pretty much everything but there could be a point where um, we have a uh, an obvious change from a hundred to something less than a hundred and that's where we're going to use our target uh, PGA aggregate target to be set so, so we might want to look at the, the PGA target advice to get that information. The other thing to look at is something called the V dollar work area histogram. So let's look at that. So let, and I'm getting up to typing this uh, on the fly. So let's see what that is. Okay. 
so in this case not a lot of history here but um, since I just started this database recently so um, but we would have a lot more data here and what we want to verify is that there's not a lot of multi-pass executions with the version of the PGA target advice that we already have a PGA target um, value that we already have so uh, um, that's all there is for this section. So yes, if we have our PGA tar uh, aggregate target set, and there and this particular V dollar SQL work histogram work area histogram shows no multi pass executions, then I think we're in good shape in terms of the PGA um, aggregate target value. And that's it for this section.